Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing and welcome back to the channel. No, you are not seeing double. We do have two VB chassis WRXs behind me. One is our in-house VB, which you've already know and love from the channel. But not only that, we have a customer here named Thomas who's been admiring some of our uh, noble aesthetic parts that we have on our in-house car. And he was like, you know what? I think I kind of want to upgrade some of the aesthetic looks on our car, uh, meaning Thomas's car. And I think we're going to be putting some of that stuff on his vehicle today. Thomas already has some performance parts uh, for this FA24 which is you know that has just been incredible uh, the way these things have been performing recently. He's got ETS front mount intercooler, he's got the Cobb exhaust system plus the Cobb access port. The car is making some pretty good power and he's super excited with the way it feels but now it's time to kind of spice things up from an aesthetic point of view and we're going to be putting a noble lip kit all the way around including the front lip, the side skirts, the rear spats, pretty much the whole deal and we're going to kind of take you along. We're going to show you how we do that and how we transform a basically stock looking aesthetic outside car and kind of give it that noble uh, VB look here. So let's just hop in. Let's get started. Let's put some of this stuff on. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. So we're back inside the shop. So why don't we take a look at the full Noble Lip Kit that we're going to be installing on this VB today. Here it is. This is the full Noble STI style uh, lip kit plus wing for the car. I mean, we've got the paint match front lip. Uh, we got the paint match side skirts and rear spats as well. Everything here is purchased individually. It's not necessarily a kit. If you give the guys at Import Image Racing a call, we can definitely put a kit together for you uh, so that we can turn, you know, our stock VB into a STI style look-alike, but I will tell you this stuff looks good. I will, in my personal opinion, tell you that this is my favorite lip kit on there. I know that there's some other kits that might be a little bit more aggressive, a, light, a little bit more loud, sort of say, uh, but for me, I kind of like that OEM Plus look. So if this was my car, I would tell you I'd probably do the exact same thing. I do like the paint match. I am a fan of the carbon, so, you know, maybe you'd catch me with some carbon fiber accents on here. Probably, quite frankly. Frankly, you definitely would. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this stuff on. I think we're going to start with the front lip because it's the most uh, intuitive part, I would say, of the actual install. It's going to be the most hardware that we have to remove and install. So let's just get the hard work kind of out of the way first. Ah, yes, a fresh start. Look at this. Nice and clean under here, just the way I like to see them. I mean, I will tell you, uh, because we do have the in-house VB chassis car, it is really exciting to work on that car a lot. We get to test fit a lot of really cool products and, and kind of be cutting edge on a lot of things. But there is something to say about a car that has, uh, you know, had nothing put on it yet. So there is some upsides to that when we go to fit, uh, you know, 50 different front lips and 100 different side skirts and, you know, 200 different wings. There's a lot of holes or other things that I have to deal with when I go to install stuff on the car. So just having a brand new 100% fresh car to start with, I think this install is going to be super easy. Not to mention, I think it's going to, you know, kind of help you guys out with taking a look under these cars. So if you plan on doing this yourself, Self, uh, hopefully videos like this can kind of help you out, walk you through, and give you a little bit more confidence to do the installs, uh, especially if you're on the fence. Like if you're not sure you have the mechanical ability, uh, you know, you kind of get a look underneath the car without having to put yours on a jack or a stand or a lift and, you know, kind of build some confidence in your technical uh, before we really start tearing this thing apart. But once again, it is super clean, super nice. I'm going to take a towel and just kind of wipe some stuff down so it's fresh surfaces and uh, you know let's get that front lip on. Before we get started I did want to show you a couple of things underneath the car for the front lip which is one of the reasons I like the STI style uh, front lips so much. Uh, to actually install this we're going to be using a lot of the factory hardware and or the factory mounting points. Uh, so for, for mocking up this particular lip you'll see that there's these two uh, holes per side here that actually 
uh, go in where the factory push pins are, uh, two on each side. So it's an easy way to kind of line everything up. On top of that, even better, you'll notice that there's these already like pre-indented holes that go under uh, or around the underside of the car. And that's actually where we're going to attach a lot of our provided hardware. They don't go all the way through, but like I said, they're pre-indented uh, because this is kind of mocking up, or I should say mimicking uh, a factory style front lip. Uh, so all the holes are pre-marked, which makes this install pretty good, pretty easy. Uh, we kind of just, we'll put the push pins in first and kind of line it all up. And then what you'll see is some of these holes are kind of elongated here. So we'll start by just kind of uh, putting a, a tap in there or starting one of the bolts in each one of these. So we still have some front and back side to side movement. Uh, so we'll put in the, the clips on each side. We'll start by putting uh, two pieces of hardware in on each side there in our predetermined holes. And then we're gonna start going around the outer edge with all of the hardware. And then we're gonna tighten everything up once it's all straight. The first thing we're gonna do is remove these two push pins her side. Now I have a panel popper just because I'm a mechanic and this is the kind of tool that I use, but you can definitely do this with a flathead screwdriver. It's not any harder or easier. So we're just going to go ahead and pop these out. I'll do the other side. Then I'm going to grab a hand so we can just kind of pop this whole thing up and eye it up and it's just going to be easier for us. We can just line our holes up, put our push pins back in. There we go, and already it's pretty lined up. We can take a look at our pre-drilled holes to make sure everything's lining up. And then we're gonna put two of our screws into our elongated holes here, and that's just gonna continue to help us line it up before we lock everything down. For installation of the screws, I'm actually using an electric drill. Uh, it's just easier for me to start the screw, but I will tell you, once I actually break through the plastic, I'm gonna stop using the drill, and then we're gonna go and tighten everything for our final time with a hand screwdriver. I lowered the car down a little bit so I can get a better look at how everything is lining up and fitting. Uh, just kind of popping it on and just an easy, easy uh, toss up here. We got an equal edge on the back, so that fits great without even really touching it. And then everything fits really good. We're just kind of making sure there's no weird gaps or anything in between the bumper and the lip. And I'm happy with the way it all looks, so we're gonna go ahead and start all of our self-tappers. All the hardware is loosely installed, so we're gonna go ahead with our hand screwdriver and we're gonna start from our center hardware and we're gonna kinda of rainbow out. We're gonna work from the center out. We're gonna tighten everything up and each way, uh, we're gonna make sure that everything's nice and aligned. Everything is nice and snug. Our body line fitment is really good. I'm really impressed. These things always fit real good and it's just my favorite look. Uh, but just kind of a tip, this is all plastic threads under here because we're screwing into the actual plastic of the bumper. So you don't really need to like torque down on these real good. It'll just kind of come to a nice snug stop and then we should be pretty good to go. Let's move on to the side skirts. When it comes to the side skirt, there's no actual predetermined location uh, for holes that are actually in the side skirt itself. Although we do have a bunch of predetermined holes here, when you go to line this up to the car, unlike our front lip, there's not going to be a bunch of dimples under there. So I'll kind of show you how we do that. If we line our body line up to our beveled edge on the side skirt and right to the leading edge of our fender, in the rear of the vehicle, we should have the exact same flush fitment. Just like that. As I thought, we're flush in the front and we're flush in the rear. So we're gonna tuck this nice and tight up against the body and we're gonna start using our self-tappers. And work our way back. Now I'll just go back over these with my hand screwdriver and then we'll repeat all those steps for the other side and we'll move on to our rear spats. 
Now that we're back at the spat, we're going to take our panel popper and once again remove this plastic pushpin and this plastic pushpin. Now, when you go to mock your new spat up, you'll notice that this hole is a 3 8 hole and we'll use that factory pushpin. But once we pull this pushpin out, the hole that's in the spat is much smaller. So to properly uh, affix this to the body, we're actually going to drill this small hole here, which is the second one from the back into a 3 8 hole so we can reuse our factory pushpin. And just like that, we can use our factory pushpin. Then we'll secure the other two holes with our self-tappers. Now we just drilled another hole into our second spat and we're gonna install that and move on to the wing. Now installing the wing, we're gonna head on into the trunk. We're gonna remove all of our plastic push pins that attach our felt to the trunk lid. Then there's gonna be two pieces of hardware that actually hard mount our wing to the body. Once we remove those two pieces, we're just gonna kind of pull and pop that wing off, prep that surface. Uh, and then once it's nice, good and clean, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our new STI wing. With our trunk felt removed, we're gonna be accessing these two eight millimeter bolts that are up inside the trunk. Luckily for us, there's these two pilot holes in the trunk here that allow some pretty good accessibility to those pieces of hardware. With our two pieces of hardware removed, we can close the trunk and there should be four plastic clips that kind of hold this on and we can just yank it off. Yeah, just like that. As you can see, underneath our wing is pretty dirty, even with the factory wing just being adhered to the trunk. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this surface and prep it for the 3M installation that's gonna help hold our wing onto the trunk lid. While I'm wiping the wing down and prepping the surface, I do wanna go over a common misconception about this kind of wing. A lot of people will open the box and see that there's two mounting holes, one on each side. Now. These mounting holes come surprisingly close to some of the mounting points that are actually on the vehicle, but they're not actually for attaching the wing to the car. They're actually, when the manufacturing process is going on with this, this is how they affix the wing so that they can color match or put all the paint onto the wings. It's just kind of a coincidence that they kind of line up to the holes in the trunk. Now, if you do wanna make permanent modifications and egg out some of those holes on your trunk, you can source your own hardware uh, and kind of lock them in to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere. But I will tell you, with the 3M properly applied, this thing really shouldn't be coming off the car uh, at all. I mean, it's, it's really gonna be difficult to get this thing to come off. So I think of just proper preparation, uh, we're gonna get this on without using these holes and without modifying the trunk permanently. We're just gonna prep it and we're gonna install it. For the first step, we're gonna apply a little bit of adhesion promoter to our rag and then apply it to the surface of our wing. Everywhere the 3M tape is going to touch, we are gonna give a light coat or a brushing of our adhesion promoter. We're gonna take our 3M tape and apply it to the wing. We have our 3M tape on the wing, so we're gonna come up to the vehicle, mock it up. Looks good on the top sides and bottom. So now what we're gonna do is take a little bit of our adhesion promoter and apply it to our rag, then apply it to the trunk lid. Included in the kit is these six felt patches, and we're gonna be installing these onto the holes that are on the trunk. And that's gonna help from water intrusion in the trunk with our new wing. Remove the tape and install the wing. We're gonna apply a good bit of force to this for the first 30 seconds or so until the adhesion promoter starts the bond with our 3M tape. Take a look at this. This thing is coming together and it looks great, but we're gonna let this sit for about two hours while the bond between the 3M and the adhesion promoter takes place. Uh, we're not gonna drive the car for about an hour or two until that bond kind of cures, but let's take this thing outside and get a good look at what our finished product looks like.
Dang, boys, we out here. Take a look at this thing. I am loving it. The white on white was definitely a good choice in my opinion. I am a super fan of what we did today. So we got the STI front lip. We have the STI side skirts, the STI rear spots. It's a really good look for these cars, especially if you're not trying to break the bank by using official OEM Subaru parts. The fitment is great. Uh, the paint finish is great. There's a lot of really good things to say about these Noble upgrades, especially the quality and the paint finish on them. Also, I'm hoping videos like this one kind of help you guys out with deciding on, hey, maybe, uh, you know, I can try some of this stuff myself. Am I not mechanically inclined enough to try this or should I get myself into trouble if I don't take it to a professional shop and have it professionally installed? None of this stuff was really all that bad. I mean, with the front lip being kind of a lot of hardware we installed, but most of the holes were kind of, you know, pre-drilled or showed you where they were gonna go. The side skirts, all you really had to do was make sure it's tucked up real nice nice and tight to the body. Maybe have a friend there to hold it nice and steady while you apply the first two screws or something like that. We had to make a slight modification to the rear spat in order for it to fit absolutely perfect onto the car, but that's not something that I think that is very difficult to do. And I would tell you the most nerve wracking thing is maybe the wing, um, you know, with the 3M tape. And if you're not really comfortable with prepping a surface in order to stick it with uh, an adhesive like that, but it really isn't that bad. I mean, as long as the weather is good, Good. your preparation is good uh, and you're just thorough with you know what you do you should be able to get this thing on really no problem and curing is one of the best things you can do prepping and curing once you prep the surface properly to get a good bond uh, just give it some time when it's curing like don't just put it on and be super ready to take it out to your your you know favorite car meet or your Thursday Friday night car get together make sure that you give it some time to cure properly before you take this thing out onto the road and those are the kinds of things that are going to help you uh, really be able to install this stuff with confidence and properly and just have an overall good look for your VB chassis WRX. Hope you enjoyed the video today guys. Like always be sure to hit that like and subscribe and for all the best parts you know pretty much in the universe you're going to want to hit up importimageracing.com. Call him, call Dane, he's going to pick up the phone, he's going to be like hey buddy you know what can I help you with guys and he's going to get you all the right parts for all the right price. So for thousands of parts just like this and tons more be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all of the best deals on the web and in the world and we'll catch you on the next one.